Welcome to the show that tells you everything about William Shakespeare. Will wrote many plays such as Macbeth, Hamlet, and perhaps his most famous play, Romeo and Juliet. Let's get straight to the point with his childhood. Shakespeare was born in late April. Many historians think on April 23rd in 1564. He was born in a town called Stratford-upon-Avon. Will was baptized on April 26th. His father and mother were John Shakespeare and Mary Arden. He attended Stratford Grammar School, but did not go to Oxford or Cambridge as expected. William had a fairly easy childhood and he was a normal boy. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, let's give it up for William Shakespeare! Woo! Yeah! Cool. Hello, Mr. Shakespeare. How are you today? I'm fine. Well, on with my first question. Were you ever married, Mr. Shakespeare? Yes, I was. I was married to Anne Hathaway. Whoa, wait. You mean Anne Hathaway from Princess Diaries? No, this is a different Anne Hathaway. We were married in 1582. We had three children. Their names were Susanna, who was born in 1583, and twins, Judith and Hamnet, who were born in 1585. Well, on with my next question. How did you get started writing plays? Really not sure. But it was really exciting when in 1592 I was officially recognized as a actor, poet, and playwright. Being a writer sounds like a fun job. Can you tell me more about your acting career? Certainly. I joined an acting troupe. We were called ourselves the Lord Chamberlain's Men. We had a theater called The Theater, <laughs> but in 1599, we lost the lease and had to rebuild. Fortunately, we were wealthy enough, so we, bu we built another theater called The Globe. The new theater opened in July of 1599. There we performed for King James I. At one of our plays about Henry VIII, a can was fired. The roof of the theater caught fire, but people were so interested in the play, they didn't even notice the flames! Oh my gosh! <laughs> they, didn't, they didn't realize that the place was on fire until the curtains on the stage started to smoke. Oh. Fortunately, nobody was injured, but we did end up having to rebuild the theater. Wow, what an interesting story! What happened after you tired your acting career? When I was done acting, I retired to the Great House of New Place in Stratford. There I continued to write until I died on my 52nd birthday in 1616. Well, thank you for coming on our show today. It was nice meeting you. I had fun time. Well, that's all the time we have for today. Until next time, so long. The, the end. end. childhood and he was a normal boy. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, let's give it up for William Shakespeare! Yeah. Woo! Ah. Ah. Yeah. Hello, Mr. Shakespeare.